All right, in this video, let's install the AdventureWorks sample databases. These are free databases from Microsoft that allow us to practice our SQL Server skills. Come with tables and objects and stored procedures and views and all, all the necessary things we need to learn. So first, we're going to uh, find them. So let's uh, what would we search on? We would search on how about um, sample SQL Server databases or how about the adventure works since that's the name of it adventure works adventure works the adventure oh, let's see oh, that get us there and that will probably I think that's the site and it is and that is the adventure works 2000 that's the exact one we want I've already downloaded but you would click on it and it is executable so you would say I agree and Let's see how fast. Let's see. Let's uh, open up in the folder. Let's, uh, let's see where it's. Let's show in folder, and there should be one in there already. All right. Yeah. So what we're going to do is cancel this. Cancel. Let's go to the folder. Hide our browser. And here it is. And. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We're going to install it on the default instance. What's the default instance? You only get one per SQL Server and it is the name of the server and it is the default instance the local instance anything after that is a named instance so named backslash the name of the instance here's my unique naming convention I know very original New York City SQL 01 and this is the name of my computer 8675309-m M for Mike I think if you're old enough you'll know what that number is if you're young you will have no clue. So, default instance here, named instance, let's install it on where is my open? There we go. Install it on the default. So we double click, it is an executable. It's nice because you can just keep running it. You blow your databases up, you rerun it. You delete, you rerun. I love that I've been using these for a long time. These are used in just about, I mean, they're everywhere. Every textbook. Um, they're used in is that thing, is that thing, thinking? Um, they're used in uh, blogs and articles and um, I mean just everywhere everywhere you go you're gonna find any uh, samples uh, that relate to SQL Server you can be sure there's gonna be an AdventureWorks database so we obviously we need to accept we need to hit next and here we are. So it gives us the installation. Remember, if you're new to SQL, uh, installation instance. Instance means installation. That's funny. That's means the same thing. So it's going to drop down and give us uh, these are named instances on my box, on my laptop here, and we're going to put it in the default. What do I want? I want. I don't want a data warehouse. I'll take him. Mm hmm. Yeah, I'll take it. I don't want the data warehouse. And yeah, that's cool. And just like that, we hit the install. Oh, this is a hard one, I know. Takes a few seconds. It's cool, you can see what's going on. The index and in, index in name and convention IX. I hate that. Anyway, moving on. We got an XML index to play with. <laughs> All right, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes. And when we come to our default instance, and let's get rid of him, we will disconnect. Let's move to him, and if we refresh on the databases, we now have our sample databases with our tables and our views and our stored products to play with and to learn from. And I use these throughout almost all of my tutorials. You will see them everywhere. Please install them. Um, they are great learning tools. And that will do it for this simple video on installing.
the Microsoft sample databases.